Do you know that even with the most skilled surgeons, the mistake rate for brain surgery is still as high as 10%. A failed operation could have serious consequences like permanent brain damage, coma, and even death. Then the question becomes, can we bring down the risk of brain surgery? And can we make better surgical tools to improve its accuracy? Those are the questions I address in my research. As a physics graduate student, I work in the lab with lasers. So rather than thinking about how to make a better mechanical drilled cut bone, I wonder if we could use lasers instead. And this is not such a crazy idea, because lasers are already used everywhere in our daily lives. They're in your CD drives, in the barcode scanners at the grocery stores, and even in fibers deep on the ocean floor that deliver your high-speed internet. Then you may ask, why do we want to use lasers to cut bone? What are the advantages? Well, first of all, you need to understand that cutting bone itself is not so difficult. The difficult part is to know exactly when to stop before damaging the brain tissues underneath. Yet, depth control is extremely challenging with a mechanical drill where you can't see beyond the surface you're cutting. However, with a laser, you can. And here's how it works. Lasers produce light. And light can either be considered as a wave, like a vibrating string, or it can be considered as a particle, like a fast-moving bullet. And this is a well-known particle wave duality of light that has puzzled many scientists, including Albert Einstein. And the amazing part is, both properties of light work together in laser bone surgery to make depth control possible. The particle nature allows light to blast the material away, and the wave nature allows us to measure the echoes of backscatter light so that we can calculate the laser penetration depth. Aha! Now we have a technique of cutting material with light, and at the same time, knowing exactly how much we've cut into it. So now in brain surgery, my laser beam is equipped with a vision system that guides me so that I can stop before completely cutting through the skull and avoid damaging tissues below. Just to give you a sense, the precision of our technique is down to microns, which is about 100 times better than mechanical tools currently used in practice. So, theoretically, this all sounds pretty promising, huh? You may wonder, does this actually work? <laughs> the answer is yes. Here, I showed you a Queen's University logo that a laser cut onto bone with depth control. And this serves as a proof of concept for surgery applications. Once, a friend of mine made a somewhat surprising comment that this could be the next generation of tattoo. <laughs> well, I don't know whether people will ever want tattoos on their bones, but I do know that laser technology has the potential of saving more lives and will continue to bring us surprises. Thank you.